Hey guys, Vince here and in this video, I'll be showing you how to upgrade your 2019 iMac with a truckload of memory. Here's the bad note guys, only the 27 inch models have user accessible RAM compartment. But it's not the end of the world if you have the 21.5 inch models, you still can upgrade your memory yourself if you're willing to go through the extra mile of taking apart your Mac. For me, I've opted for the 27 inch Retina 5K display with the top of the line 8 core 9th gen Intel Core i9 processor and the Radeon Pro Vega 48 over the 580X, pairing them with an internal 1TB SSD storage and of course with the baseline 8GB of memory which we'll be changing by ourselves later. Here, I bought a 128GB memory upgrade kit from OWC. Yes, you got that right. 100 and 28 gigabytes of RAM. That's more RAM than all of the devices I have at home combined. Wow. These are four sticks of 32 GB, 2666 megahertz, small outline, dual inline memory module. So dims for short. Don't worry, this video isn't sponsored by Otherworld Computing. But hey, you know how to reach me if you do. <laughs> anyway, it costs around as low as $700 plus handling and taxes directly from their website. So why 128 gigs of RAM you ask? Hmm, well, why not? I do quite a lot of multitasking, I open a lot of Chrome tabs, and I do quite a lot of 4K video editing, so it does take up a lot of RAM. I've used up as high as about 80% of the capacity, that's about almost 100 gigs of RAM. So, here are some things that we need before we begin this short guide. First, we'll need a big flathead screwdriver. Second, we also need a mirror. Third, two pieces of A4 size paper, a jigsaw, and lastly, some engine oil. <laughs> Come on guys, it's Apple we're talking about. It's all about simplicity. And all we need is the lightning cable that comes along in our box. That's it. It's that simple. So before we begin, let me show you about this Mac that I'm currently running on the base 8GB of RAM and I've populated two slots of 4GB, 4GB each. Firstly, turn off your Mac. Then, unplug the cable and just wait for a few minutes to let all the extra juice from the capacitors of the power supply to drain off. Then, use your lightning cable and just press into the oblong shaped button to release the spring tension cover. And underneath the RAM cover, you'll see four DIMM slots. Currently, only two of them are being occupied by the RAMs that came pre-installed. You would want to press outwards on the lever with your thumbs to release the RAMs. Now, carefully take out the DIMM module. It should slide out easily, as you can see. Mine came pre-installed with two 4GB DIMMs made by SK Hynix, one of the few big RAM manufacturers out there in the market. And then, now we can finally populate the empty slots with our 4 DDR4 RAMs. Carefully align the notch of the RAM with the notch in the slots, or else it will be just physically impossible to install the sticks. It doesn't matter which position we install these RAMs to take advantage of the dual channel support as we are using identical sticks altogether. Lightly push it in until you hear a soft click. Then you will know it's nicely snuggled in. But if you're only using a pair, usually you'll be installing them in either bank 0 and bank 2 or bank 1 and bank 3 similarly to how it came pre-installed with the RAMs. But in reality, 
it doesn't really make a huge impact from our day-to-day -day workflow. Depress the two levers back into its locking position and you're pretty much ready to put the RAM cover back in. Just evenly press the cover back into its place. You might want to use a bit of strength since it relies on those tension springs to hold its place. Here in About This Mac, you can see that it detects all 128 GB of RAM. Hmm. And under System Information, in Memory, you can see that all four of it is identified. And the DIMMs are manufactured by Samsung. Hmm. Fun fact, if I'm not mistaken, the previous batch of DIMMs from OWC was manufactured by the same company, SK Hynix. So be sure to give me a thumbs up if you like this mini tutorial, thumbs up too if you dislike it, and shoot me any questions in the comment section below, and I will try my best to answer them. Oh, and please do consider subscribing, maybe? Bye.